now we need to continue setting the game up we are we're almost there uh we're, we're we're seeing we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel we get with getting the game set up so just hang in there we're almost through all the boring stuff so we need to create some game values though so we need to uh, go to our server script or our server storage i mean and we need to create a configuration this is going to be like where we put game settings and stuff so we could all, we can just easily come in and tweak how we want the game to work so in our configuration we want to add a an int value and we want to name this to enter mission link set it to set it to five for right now we'll we'll make that longer in the future duplicate this we need pre-game link game link and a post game link okay uh, so we also need a number value and this is going to be the possession pool down link duplicate that name it shop power duplicate that rename it shot accuracy duplicate that rename it to player speed duplicate that rename it to slide power and so we're putting all of our game settings uh, in the server storage rather rather than the replicated storage because uh, if someone is, knows what they're doing and is hacking the game they can see everything that's in replicated storage and they might be able to mess with it and adjust like the intermission length and, and adjust the game settings. Uh, but they can't if you put it in server storage and being that we're only going to access these values from scripts that are in our server script service, uh, we can see everything that's in the server storage. So that's why we're putting our game settings in the server storage and not replicated storage. Uh, we are going to put everything else, all the other values that we need for our game, we're going to put in replicated storage. So we're going to make a folder in replicated storage and we're going to call it game. And in that folder, we're going to make another folder and we're going to call it conditionals. And in conditionals, we are going to uh, add a bool value, rename it to game active. Duplicate that, rename it to goal scored. All right, add a, another folder inside the game folder in replicated storage, name it objects. Create an object value, name it ball. Duplicate that, rename it last player to touch. Duplicate that, rename it to Possessing Player. Okay, and then now, not in these folders, but in the game folder, we're going to add some values. So we are going to add a string value. Name it State. Duplicate that. Uh, and rename it Timer. In the game folder, add a int value. Rename it to state timer. Duplicate that. Rename it to minutes. Duplicate that. Rename it to seconds. All right, and that is it. So we've got our game game values added. Uh, 
again all this stuff's not gonna make sense right now just trust in the process it will make sense later uh, and i will see you guys in the next video we're almost done getting the game set up